Good morning, good morning. This is a new day. This is a new me. <laughs> and I'm coming to you live this morning, giving thanks and being grateful for all things. Yes, this is Thanksgiving Eve, and it is a wonderful day to be happy and to be excited about being here and having all that you have today. This is a great day to give grace and give thanks unto the Lord, for He is faithful and He is thank He is worthy to be praised this morning. And I just want to give God some praise this morning. And I want to thank him because he's been so wonderful to me. I want to thank him because without him, I could do nothing. I would be nothing. I would have nothing. And with him, I can do all things and I am all things. So I'm so grateful this morning and I'm excited. I'm fired up. I got energy this morning. I'm feeling good in who I am and it's okay. I want to say to you this morning, it is okay to feel good when people are around you and they're in a whole hum. It's okay for you to be you. It's okay to be good. Good morning, love. It's good to see you this morning, Demetria. And it is exciting to know, yes, happy Thanksgiving Eve to you as well. It is good to know that I can be me and I don't have to be concerned about how other people perceive who I am. I'm okay with being me. If you're not okay with me being me, then I don't have the problem. You do and I will no longer allow your um, not being okay with me being me to affect me. So I think you need to get over it and move on because life is too wonderful. You don't know my story. You don't know what where I've been. You don't know where I've come from. You don't know the changes that have taken place in my life. You don't know how God has kept me in those hours when I didn't know if I could make it. You don't know my story. So for you to sit in judgment on me because I choose to be happy and I choose not to walk around with a long sad face. Oh well, then I say to you, my friend, God bless you and I love you anyhow and I'm going to pray that you reach this place. But this morning, I want to talk about two things. Optimism or pessimist? Are you, a op are you optimistic or pessimistic? It's your choice. Whether you are an optimistic or a pessimistic person, the choice is how you will be in the future is yours and yours alone. So nobody can make that decision for you. So today, I choose to be an optimistic person. I was once pessimistic and being pessimistic does not do anything for you, but it, it, it amplifies the situation as being worse because you are pessimistic. Nothing is right. This is not right. You're being passive. Oh, well, I'll be this way. And, I, and as Christians, we think being humble is walking around trying to be the least of the most. Well, <clears throat> That's not what humility is. Humility is being able to be thankful and walking in all that you have and not boasting about it and yet being able to bless somebody else. And not only that, humility is if I see you and you're looking good, I don't have to hate on you. I can come to you and say, look, I think that's beautiful what you have on. That's to me is humility because I'm not boasting in myself. Excuse me, I'm not boasting in myself, but I'm being thankful and being optimistic. I can see different angles of the situation. I look at it from different perspectives and I see an outcome. It could come out this way, <clears throat> excuse me, or it could come out another way. So I'm being optimistic. And when I be optimistic, that gives me room to be positive. <coughs> excuse me. It gives me room to be more positive because I see the outcome in a better and a more beautiful light. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can either see the light at the end of the tunnel or you can see that the tunnel is really long. Which one you're going to see? You can either see that today is a beautiful sunny day or today is a cold day and I don't have enough to get through the day. But you can see on the other side, well, if I go ahead and try to do the best that I can, somewhere along the line, the way is going to be made for me to do what I have to do. So you can be optimistic or you can be pessimistic. It's up to you. If you're like most people who aren't happy unless they are miserable, 
I don't want them people around me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't need you in my space because I'm happy. And the only way you can be happy is to be miserable. Well, they tell me misery love company. Well, I appreciate you, but I don't need that kind of company. Because if I stay around you, you're going to bring me down. And in order for you to move forward and not to be miserable, you need to change your perspective. You need to change how you're seeing things. You need to change your outlook on what you're dealing with. If you stop looking at it as it's a dead end, Look at the life. Look at the other side of the coin. If you flip a dime on one side, you got heads. If you flip a dime on the other side, you got tails. Do you see the glass half full or do you see it half empty? It's your perspective. It's up to you how you want to see it. Okay? You can stay miserable if you want to be miserable or if you want to be joyful, enthusiastic, and excited about your life. You can. You can do that regardless of your circumstances. Don't allow your circumstances to dictate your attitude. Don't allow your circumstances to dictate how you feel. Well, I just heard somebody say, well, you don't know what I've been going through. You don't know how hard it's been. Okay, so you got it hard. What you going to do? You're going to either make it okay. You're going to deal with it where, okay, it is what it is. How can I get through this? How can I make this situation better? Let me look at what I'm supposed to learn out of this situation and see how I can change to make the situation better. And I think that's the key that will a lot of us miss. We miss the fact that we want everybody else around us to change when the change has to take place in you. Because if you begin to change, then your circumstances and your situation will change. But if you don't change, nothing else is going to change. Good morning, Tina. Love you. Good morning, Leticia. It's good to see you guys this morning. Uh, Pastor Franklin, it's all good to see you. And I'm just excited today about your being here. And I love you too, Tisha. Thank you so much. My business partner Tina Maddox is with me this morning love you darling and <clears throat> you can change your circumstances it's up to you it's how you perceive it it's your perception you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad don't let your circumstances dictate your attitude if you change your, your attitude and how you're seeing it You'll change the situation. People will change around you. If you change, people will change how they deal with you. They will change how they see you. But we want everybody to see us. But some people don't want to see who you are because they don't like who you are. Because everything is negative that come out your mouth. Nobody wants to be around negative, 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 negative person. Change what comes out of your mouth, you will see a change take place in your life. Begin to speak those things that are not as though they were. Are we lying to ourselves? No, we're not. We're governing ourselves according to the word of God because you can see what is not in the, well, here we go. All right, Annette, let's make it plain. All right. Hebrews tells us the things that are made were not made by things that were seen, but they were made from the things of the unseen. Okay, so therefore, <laughs> it walk by faith. When you walk by faith, it tells us faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We're dealing with two different perspectives. So I want you to know today. <laughs> Go to Hebrews chapter 11 and read it for yourself and stay there till you get it. And I will come back to it at another time. But my time is running out this morning. And I just want you to know you can choose to be optimistic or pessimistic today. You choose today. Make this day an awesome and a wonderful day. Remember, this is a new me and this is a new day. And I am excited today about what God is doing in my life. 
and I am optimistic because listen, God promised me that I could have in his word whatsoever his word says that I can have. And I'm optimistic enough to believe it because I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by sight long enough. Now I'm walking by faith and I'm believing that the things that are unseen are mine because they are manifesting in the natural. So we're grateful this morning for all of you. And I want to wish you a happy, happy and a prosperous and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Love your family. Just in case I don't get to say it tomorrow. Love your family. Love yourself. Be good to yourself. I love you. Have a wonderful day. This is a new me and this is a new day and we are coming to you live. I love you. Be blessed. Bye bye.